What is up guys, Dane again. Welcome back to the channel where I talk about all that digital stuff. Whether it's Facebook ads, a Shopify store, whether it's doing funnels, marketing, or whatever. Now, as you know, I've been talking about Facebook Live, and if you're interested in learning about that, give me a subscribe. The past couple of videos I've been talking about doing Facebook Live, but you've probably have noticed on some people's Facebook Lives, they actually have like a logo, or maybe they even do like a whole presentation, where like here's the presentation area, here's their company logo, here's their face, and you're wondering, how do you do all that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Now before we head to my computer, I want to tell you the software that we're going to be using. The software is called OBS, stands for Open Broadcast Software Service System, I don't know, OBS. Now the nice thing about it is that it is free. I've actually used it. I used to have a Let's Play video game channel that failed spectacularly. The nice thing is I found that it's very, very flexible software. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be using OBS and hook it up to Facebook Live. So let's go ahead and jump to my computer and I'm going to show you how I do that. What is up guys? Here we are on my laptop again. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to use Facebook Live and OBS together and to make them play together. Fantastic. Now the first place you want to go is right here. Facebook slash live slash create. And also make sure you go ahead and have OBS at the ready. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click this nice blue button, create live stream. As you can see, it's all loaded up and it looks very similar to just a normal Facebook live. Now these are the things that we really want to use and they're right here. So now it's time to go to OBS. Yep, there's my ugly mug. Let me just go ahead and turn that off real quick. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to um, add in stuff like that as well. But what we need to do is we need to go up here to OBS to preferences. If you're on Windows, it's roughly the same place, but you want to go to preferences and here to stream. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste. URL goes to URL, and stream key goes to stream key. Now as you can see, I went ahead and somehow managed to get this thing to press apply. I usually have this laptop working with two screens, hence why I saw me uh, flailing about trying to get it to accept, but now this key, is going to match what they have on Facebook Live. This is one thing that I actually had a huge struggle with is actually getting it started because if you look at Facebook, Facebook says, Durr, go ahead and put this in and press the go live button. Well, as you can see, we cannot do so. So let me show you what you do. You actually go to OBS and you have to start up OBS first. So to give us something to look at, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my web camera. If you don't have a web camera or you have some other input device, you go down here to this little plus symbol. Now, as you can see, you have all sorts of inputs that you can do, such as game capture, audio input, all sorts of stuff. For me, it's just gonna be my little camera right here. And let me go ahead and turn on my logo. Now, the nice thing about OBS is that you pretty much are setting up your screen right from here. Let me go ahead and put like a nice big image in there as well. Let's grab this one, it looks a little bit familiar. As you can see, this is going to be what our screen is going to look like when we go and do our live streaming. So there we go, I got this, and we got this. Yes, doesn't that look wonderful? This is exactly what I want to show the world. But we're still at the same problem. How do we actually get moving, since that is not blue? Well, you actually first have to start recording here, and I'll admit, this is going to be very interesting to see since I'm using QuickTime to screen capture this. You're going to see a lot of trippy stuff in a second. So we go ahead, and now this is streaming. We got the green light, we can see how everything's working, we can see my CPU usage, and when we go back to here, ah, look, it's now fetching the live stream. They're now reading to each other. One thing I will say, and you are gonna notice right here on the screen, um, let me see if I can actually put this side by side. Okay, so you can see that there's two of me, and the one on the this side. This is actually in real time. See why I nod my head, it's actually going at the same time. When you are using OBS to stream, this is always going to be like five to 10 seconds behind. So there's nothing wrong, that's just how it works. Just keep that in mind. So if you see comments or anything like that, you know, while you're streaming, 
you are seeing those about 5 to 10 seconds late to the party. Um, I'm not sure if there is a way to fix that, but you can definitely... But, you know, I just want to make sure you guys are aware about that. Now, as you can tell, this is what our screen looks like. So when I go ahead and pro go live, let me see if I can go ahead and do post settings. Oh, this is really cool. You can do 360 video or you can do gaming. So definitely for you gamers out there that actually want to use this as well, awesome way. That's actually how I got into OBS is that I went... I, sorry, I, I have to move the screen because it looks so weird seeing myself like 30 seconds in the past. But actually, that's how I got into OBS is I went ahead and did a video game channel it failed it's called like two lost gaming it's it's still up it's just you know whatever but anyways if i am ready to go i would just go ahead and do go live and now right now i am doing this live it looks awkward as hell just gonna be uh, talking to all my uh, people on facebook hey i'm making this facebook video uh, actually this youtube video about how to do facebook live and using obs and all that stuff if you people on Facebook don't know who I am, make sure you follow my YouTube channel. Let me go and end this before I get any more embarrassed. And there we go. So now this is all done on this end. And on OBS, we just simply go ahead and stop the recording. Oh, stop the streaming. And there we go. We are all done. So I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. Uh, if you like this kind of video, go and give me a comment, like, and a share. And I will see you guys next time, maybe with something a little bit more fast. See you guys next time.